What's up guys, it's me, Sneaker Dan, back again with another new video. Two videos in the same night. As you can tell, I switched out on my t-shirt, so I don't really look any different, but it, it's a great t-shirt this time, or I guess a long sleeve. All right, let's get right into it, okay? So today, we're gonna do another unboxing of the Jordan 11 Jubilees, the 25th anniversary uh, sneaker for this year's holiday season of Jordan 11s. I feel like every year now, pretty much, Jordan brand has been releasing a Jordan 11 pretty much every single year. Thankfully, I was able to cop for the last three years. I got the Concours, Jordan 11 Brez, and now finally, the Jubilees. I actually cop two pairs this year, one to put on ice and one to just wear and beat up. And you know, just because I think the shoe is really fire. Um, pretty much, I almost have a whole entire, like all the Jordan 11s that I actually want. The only ones I'm missing now is the all red on Jordan 11s, but I have the, um, the, I have the Columbian, uh, Columbia's, I have the Space Jams, the UNC's, um, Breads, Concours, and Jubilees. And this is really a big, big, big pickup for me just because I really love the Jordan 11 um, colorways. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video videos from years ago, but I talk about how the Concord 11 is what really drew me in into, I guess, the sneaker world and getting into shoes. And just having another pair of Jordan 11s like this, and especially a brand new silhouette and colorway, is really awesome. So we'll get right into it, okay? <clears throat> so this Jordan 11 packaging is actually a little bit different. It's pretty much the colorway of gray and black. Little size tag, I got a size nine and a half. And the box is actually pretty cool. So the way you open this pretty much is you slide this up and there's a diagonal opening right there. And honestly, I really think that's a really cool thing that Jordan Brand does. Instead of, you know, reusing the same box, they added a little bit more different, like, you know, flavor or kick to the boxings of the shoes. So let's get right into it, okay? And here they are, the Jordan 11 Jubilees. And honestly, these are a super, super, super fly sneaker, honestly. Wow, man. Like, I can't get over it, honestly. Whoo! And then they're cold because it's snowing over here in my state. And honestly, these are great. Look at this colorway, man. Look at this pattern. Look at the little um, different types of cream bottoms right here. And what I really like is this jump, man. So let's get right into it, okay? So... I got a size nine and a half in the Jordan 11s. Jordan 11s is one of the most iconic Jordan Jordan silhouettes that everyone knows. Any sneaker enthusiasts or people who just watch, you know, regular videos, even normal people might not, might even know Jordan 11 just because of all the crazy rage that the concourse and the history of it on news channels, people dying over it, people fighting and stealing things like that. <clears throat> but this is a really big one for me just because it's the 25th anniversary and, and it's a new color that I've never seen personally before. So, so basically, materials wise, they're all pretty much the same. They have pretty much the pattern leather, makes it looks like a little bit more classier, you know, nice looking sneaker that you can just wear, just not only just casually, but you know, on formal events, honestly, just because the pattern leather has a little tuxedo feel to it. On the top right here on the Jumpman logo, it has, is metallic, me and also it's actually cold to touch, meaning it's actually a a real piece of metal there. Um, I don't know how they're gonna feel when it's like wearing them or people who are trying to ball in Jordan 11s. I don't know how they're gonna feel just because it's I guess a thicker material and it is actually uh, is actually metal. So I don't know how this is gonna feel in your ankles as you guys run around and stuff. On the back here is a little 20 is the 23 and I don't feel like this is metal. I feel like it's like kind of like a fake metal i guess not really how i can really explain it well back over here is a leather material you know the in jordan fashion i feel i i think nightwing did point out that this is actual leather so the quality of it is actually a lot better than most other sneakers that jordan on jordan has and i believe that this patent leather is actually real pats and leather on the bottom right here is pretty much Pretty much the sole is a nice um, milk, milky cream bottom. Uh, I'm sure these will yellow over time as always, but they're not gonna be very, very like, you know, once it oxidizes, it, it won't be too, too yellow since there's already, you know, a little bit milky already on it. Um, a little jump in logo in the middle right here. And then also it has the carbon, um, carbon fiber underneath the shoe. And then the tech, the tech of the shoe is pretty much all the same. It still has the whole entire bottom. It's pretty much air in it. And it's still a really good shoe to ball in. Um, but overall, that's pretty much 
the shoe, the materials of it. Looks wise, I think the shoe look the shoe of the look looks phenomenal. I don't really give much shoes a good like a good rating, but this shoe I really gotta give it a ten out of ten. Honestly, I love the I love the way it looks, the way it looks. I love the materials. Also, I like the new flavor they added with the metal on it, dude. Like, look at this. It's awesome. I feel like this shoe can match with a lot of, like, clothes. Like, you can wear it when you work out. You can wear it with your friends when you're trying to grab a drink or two or grab, like, dinner or lunch. You can even wear it around the house if you really want to feel like it. And also, not to mention, I feel like you can wear it even in formal events. Like, I don't know, if you're a high school kid trying to go to prom, you can probably rock these in your tuxedo, you know, with in your tux or your suit. And honestly, it's really nice i really like this shoe and it's beautiful and it smells great because i love that new smell of jordans you know what i'm saying so overall i give this a 10 out of 10 shoe if you guys are trying to pick up a pair i really recommend you guys do i believe stock x is selling as all I, I only talk about my sizes usually but so sizes 9 to 10 they're sitting around i believe 265 to 280 dollars it goes up and down i'm sure the prices of these will go down in the next week or two just for um just just the sake of people trying to you know get a quick turnover um just a quick like you know profit from him but always watch out for stock x because i know somebody one of my friends recently just bought it bought their pair for 250 that's not including tax or shipping but 250 is a pretty good price for these honestly since they already retail for 220 dollars but pretty much, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you know, subscribe and comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.